Um, and like I said, once, once you get your installation set up, it's, it's a hassle to get it set up. But once it's set up, there's not a lot you have to do of configuring things on the, the behind the scenes part. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there if you're dealing with multiple SharePoint servers, if you have a SharePoint farm, but uh, most small organizations like us aren't going to need to worry about that. Uh, you just need to do a few things when you, you first install it to set up your initial website. Uh, and the only difficult things to configure really are, are incoming and outgoing email, so you can email enable your lists and things, and then setting up your search server, where you want it to search and how you want it to crawl things and things like that. Um, and then one last note. Um, is uh, designing SharePoint if you want to customize what SharePoint looks like. Uh, I've done a lot of customization on our site here uh, to give it the look that I wanted to, to give it kind of our logo, um, to give it our logo here. Kind of, it has kind of our colors, kind of the beige colors that we like to use for a lot of things. Um, you can customize SharePoint a, a good bit out of the box. Um, it comes with different themes, so you can use different... Uh, different colors if you want to. Let's see, let's use citrus. But it still gives you that, it's kind of garish colors, but it still gives you this the same basic look. Um, oops, well, and there's a, let's see, there's a, in, in, if you want to do much with it, like you can see the color didn't just stay from what I just did there. It can get um, a little complicated if you want to do in-depth customization of it. Um, one of the things you'll notice here on the home page, it says Legal Aid Connect and then Legal Aid Connect. Ideally, I'd like it to say Legal Aid Connect and then Home for the home page. But if you do that, um, the, uh, the title in the browser and what you put in the bookmark becomes Home-Home, -home, which is a little silly. Uh, I can change that, but it requires some real in-depth, behind-the-scenes editing of stuff. Um, if you're not big on worrying about you know, making sure it has your colors and your looks and things like that, there's really not much you have to do. Um, beyond the built-in capabilities. If you do want to do a lot of fancy stuff, um, you'll probably need to get Microsoft uh, SharePoint, Microsoft Office SharePoint Designer, it's kind of the next version of front page, that lets you do a lot of fancy things with SharePoint behind the scenes. You'll need that if you want to do a lot of in-depth development with SharePoint, things with workflows and stuff like that. Um, I've got that, and that's why I did some of the customizations of the look, but haven't gotten too in-depth yet. Um, and that's about it for SharePoint. As we can see, it's a pretty powerful platform. Uh, lets you create a good website for your teams to work together. Has lots of great features that come out of the box that you don't have to pay for if you've already got Microsoft Windows. So, hope you enjoyed our presentation. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or give me a call. Thanks.